Well, another MBTA shutdown. This time the closure is going to impact some parts of the red line. Now the goal, well, ironically, to speed up service. It's going to impact the Mattapan line between Ashmont and Mattapan, also the Ashmont branch between Ashmont and JFK. You see it right there on the map. That's where we find WBC's Brandon Truitt. He's live for us tonight in Dorchester. Brandon. Well, Chris, this news really the nail in the coffin for a lot of red line riders. This partial closure for two weeks of this line on top of the headaches they've been putting up with for the better part of a year. Oh, it takes forever, like hour maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. I was going to take public transportation, but I'll be late, so I actually have to take an Uber. <laughs> red line riders are used to finding a workaround, but another setback is set for mid October when the MBTA plans to close the JFK to Ashmont and the Mattapan lines for 16 days. The T's general manager says the closure is for track work and would consolidate six months of weekend work to two weeks. We just felt like we really needed to get in and get done and take care of it sooner. The 16 day surge will allow us to do that in a much more cost effective and shorter duration. The number one source of headache I hear from riders in Boston is about the red line. Troubled travel on the T is nothing new for riders on this line. They've been dealing with some of the worst of the year long slow zones. We did it because we really wanted to be able to validate people's experiences. Jared Johnson is with Transit Matters. The organization tracks rider experience using the MBTA's own data. They found those red line slow zones have sent travel time soaring from 12 additional minutes of travel time just last August to nearly an hour and 10 minutes recorded on Wednesday. And riders are waiting longer for those trains. Transit Matters found trains are running roughly half the pace of their historic highs. It's all led to the sharpest decline in ridership of any line. 100,000 less people riding per day than before the pandemic. That's a loss of more than $200,000 a day in fares. And I think what's going to be really critical is, um, is that the team needs to make sure that they are being crystal clear about what riders can expect after the diversion is done um, and that they're actually able to, to, to measure up to that and that there is that appreciable benefit to riders. So again, the whole goal of this, the MBTA says, is to speed up the work, to lift the slow zones, to make service better. The shuttle buses are going to be provided just like we saw when the Orange Line closed last year. All of this begins here on October the 14th. We're live in Dorchester. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. Great info there.